that we're going to Neastown now for a training session with the kids. We have some really good, talented kids there. Uh, but the hard part, you know, is, is the teenage years, is keep them interested, you know. Uh, it's, it's hard to keep guys interested in sport in around those years, you know. I, I'd love to see another, another boxer coming out of that club with, with an Olympic medal. Or even, even to get to the Olympics would be great. This is where it started for me. I was brought to the club at eight years of age. It was a school hall at the time. After the Olympic Games, of course, when I won the medal and stuff, we pushed and got a new club built. We have about 50 kids training there at the moment, boys and girls. That's the shot. Slip and counter. That's it, and that's lovely stuff. It's all about the fundamentals. Right from the ground up, footwork, hand speed, combinations, head movement. All has to commit the player at a young age. Move the head, that's it is, good. It is something that I am going to look to do, is coaching in the future with the club and with hopefully the Irish team. I'm looking forward to weighing in in the National Seniors next year at 81 kilos. If Joe weighs in 81, obviously we're going to lock horns again. Um, and I think everyone's going to be cheering, you know, every underdog again, which is me this time. <laughs> so who knows what will happen? Who knows what? It won't be around for another four years. I'm trying to qualify for uh, the next Olympics in 2016. Why not? You know, like it is, it is possible. At the moment, I'm just taking it as, I, as it comes, you know, and I'm, I'm enjoying my sport again. Next week on London Calling, join Kieran Behan, who qualified for the Olympics after being told he would never walk again. Tumour in my left thigh, severe brain injury, and now, hopefully nothing more. <laughs> it's not all smiles for triathlete Aileen Morrison as she embarks on a gruelling training regime. This is what you have to do to be at the top, and when you've got all day to do it, and <laughs> you love doing it, I mean, I wouldn't do this if I didn't love it, so... And follow Jamie Coston, a three-time Olympian, aiming to make it four in London. But does he have it in him? It's like my stomach just exploded and everything just came out of it. <laughs>